quickly fix the sign. Oh, there. Kindly let us know if the sound is very clear. Okay. This, this kindly let us kindly let us know if the sound is very clear. Okay, I think it's fine now. I think it's fine. Thank you. Okay, I think we are fine now. Hello, hello, Royals. I'm just gonna quickly check one more time just to make sure. Okay, I think we are fine now. Hello, hello, Royals. Okay, I think we are. Greetings, greetings, greetings to you all, Royals. How are you? I trust you are all doing great. Okay, so we have been having a little bit of a challenge with our network, but I think we are so sorted now please kindly let me know if you can hear me very loud and clear let me know before we start happy new month of october royals hope you had a beautiful beautiful month of september and yes you entered into the month of, of october in a very beautiful way thank you i can see that okay so the sound is very clear Thank you so much for letting us know. All right, so Royals, we are live and ready for the Word of God right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is right to Shalom. So yes, we are live and ready for the Word, Royals. This is our month of October. And you know, it has been, and we had an amazing month of September. And now, yes, we are launched into another new month of October. And you know what? There's a lot that the Holy Spirit ministered to me, you know, this uh, this week, regards to our new month. But before we go there, Royals, I would like us to right away start with our gratitude. We're going to pray right now and thank God for the month that we had, the month of September. And also, we're going to thank God for this new month of October. And of course, we thank him for the week that we had, for the blessings and so much that he's done for us. So we are going to pray right away. I hope the background sound is not uh, very loud. All right, so let's just pray and thank God right now. Father, we thank you in the name of our our Lord Jesus Christ for this great week that we had. We thank you, O God, for the month of September that we rounded up specially. We thank you, O God, for, for the wins, for victories, 
in every era of our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for perfecting everything that concerns us every single day. We are grateful to you, O oh God, for your word that is working and prevailing mightily. We thank you, O oh God, for this month of October that we have entered into. Lord, we thank you for the guidance of the Spirit with regards to the month of October. We thank you, O oh God, for your word. We thank you, Father. Yes, and we are ready to receive it in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. So yes, we are ready, Royals. Happy blessed new month of October. It's going to be an amazing time. You know, uh, uh, this month of October will be amazing. You may say, you know what, but you don't understand. So much has been happening to me. The Lord your God has so much in store for you this month of October. Glory to God. So we're going to be looking at the scriptures, you know, that will be guiding us through for this month. But remember, we also had um, the, I mean, we had a message that we shared last week on God loves you. And also the other Sunday we had Word Feast where we were talking so much about the wisdom. And I always encourage you that you can listen to those messages again and again on our YouTube channel at Fountain Insights TV. So now we are not going to do I mean, uh, the recap for the last week, but you can just go to our YouTube channel, you know, at Fountain Insights TV. Their message is available. God loves you. There's so much that uh, we shared on that Sunday. So now we're going to be looking at the word for this month of October. And of course, this blessed new month, I mean, a uh, new, I mean, uh, this blessed Sunday, rather, as we are rounding up the week. So let's look at the word of God right, right now. The topic is pursue them. That is the topic for today, pursue them. And you know, as I was uh, meditating on the word of God, meditating on the scriptures, and I'm like, okay, God, what, 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 what are we pursuing right now? You know, the, the, the Holy Spirit took, to, uh, took me to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30, which we're going to read right now. And we're going to understand what uh, was ministered through this chapter. So I will quickly look at uh, the book of First Samuel chapter 30 right now so that we can see. So the topic is pursue them. There's so, so much that you're going to pursue. You know, there's so, so much that you're going to go after because if you don't, you know, you will not get the results that you should. So the Holy Spirit kept on saying pursue them. Let's go. Look at First Samuel. First Samuel chapter thirty, verse one to twenty-seven. Okay, so that was David. So I will read on the um, NIV version. Okay. So when David destroyed. The Amalekites, you know, there was a lot that was happening. Now, I would like us to read first the scripture in regards to what happened. So now, this is Samuel chapter 30, starting from verse 1. David and his men reached Ziklag on the third day. Now, the Amalekites had raided the Negev and Ziklag. They had attacked Ziklag and burned it and had taken captive the women and everyone else in it, both young and old. They killed none of them, but carried them off as they went on their way. So that means they carried everything that didn't belong to them. Right. When David and his men reached Ziklag, they found it destroyed by fire and their wives and son, I mean, and sons and daughters taken captive. So David got into to, to Ziklag and found that everything that was theirs was taken away. Was taken away from them. And this is when David and his men reached Ziklag, they found it destroyed by fire and their wives and sons and daughters taken captive. So David and his men wept aloud until they had no strength left to weep. The other version says that David 
uh, and his people they cried until they, they 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 had no strength again to cry so that means they had cried themselves out until they couldn't cry anymore because you know when you when you face that kind of a situation where you know you will so cry until tears can't come out anymore you know so now when david and his men reached ziklag they found it destroyed by fire and their wives and sons and daughters taken captive so david and his men went aloud until they had no strength to weep again so they weeped they cried until they had no strength to cry again for what had happened to them and then it says david's two wives had been captured uh, Ahinom and Jezreel and Abigail, the widow of Nabah of Carmel. David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord his God. Where do you find your strength? In your weakest moments. Where do you find your strength? In the worst situations. Where do you find your strength when you, you have cried it, you, yourself all out to a point that you, you can't cry anymore? There's no tears anymore. You are tired of crying, yet you are in pain, yet you are, you, 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 you know, you, you, you are feeling the pain. You know, you are feeling burdened of whatever condition that may have taken place, what may have happened to you, you know. So now this is. Let's continue. Let me look at, um, let me go to the GNT version. There's something that I would like us to see. Where is the GNT version? Okay, I'm going to take the GNT version. In verse 6 says, David was now in great trouble because his men were all very bitter about losing their children. And they were threatening to stone him. But the Lord, his God, gave him courage. David said to the priest, okay, let me go back because a little bit, um, verse 4. David and his men started crying and did not stop until they were completely exhausted. So these people, they cried. They couldn't stop until they were completely exhausted. Like they were so tired of even crying. That's how much they, they cried. Until they were exhausted from the inside. You know, you can so cry until you are exhausted from the inside until you are like oh, what's the point anyways you know david and his men started crying okay wait, where are we now um because now it says that david's two wives ahinoam and abigail had been taken away so they took them away so david's uh children i mean david's wives david's children you know, they were taken away. So they took the belongings of David. And when he got to Ziklag, he found out that everything of his was taken, you know. And he cried until he was even tired of crying. And now David was now in great trouble because his men were all very bitter about losing their children. So he, they had lost their families, lost everything, and lost their children. Now they're even threatening David that we're going to beat you. We're going to fight you. We're going to kill you because of what has happened. If not for you, this would have never happened. So now imagine you yourself, you are going through the situation. You yourself are going through the challenge. They've taken everything away from you, but there you are. You're still being, you know, threatened. And then he says, David, uh, then, then verse 7 says, David said to the priest Abiathar, son of Ahimelech, bring me the effort, and Abiathar brought it to him. David asked the Lord, shall I go? So now David is asking the Lord, says, shall I go after those raiders, and will I catch them? Says, shall I go after these raiders, and will I catch them? So, uh, and says that he inquired of the Lord. David inquired of the Lord. He answered, go after them. You will catch them and rescue the captives. Let me take it in the NIV version. This is the GNT. Let me show you in the NIV version. So now, after everything that has happened to him, he still found strength in the Lord. He had to encourage himself to find strength in the Lord. But now he goes out. And then, you know, yeah, and then now what did he do before? Because he inquires of the Lord. And then he asks the Lord. Then David 
said to the and then says then David said to Abiata the priest the son of Ahimelech bring me the effort Abiata brought it to him and David inquired of the Lord shall I pursue this raging party will I overtake them so he says shall I pursue maybe you may be saying you know what this is too much they have taken all I had you know everything is is gone maybe it's about your finances it's about your resources it's about it could be anything now he says that then david said to abiata the priest the son of family bring me the effort so he says bring me the effort so that means david took an action you know even though he had gone through the worst he did something about it and then he inquires of the lord he says shall i pursue this wedding party will i overtake them he's inquiring he says shall i pursue and this is what the lord said pursue them he answered you you will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue it says pursue them you, you know when what it has to do with your 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 positions anything that belongs to you or whatever he says that pursue them he answered you will certainly overtake them so there's an action that ought to be taken in you when you have inquired of the Lord says pursue them so that means you need to go after what is yours because you know when he says pursue them that means when you were sitting down you know maybe you were just crying on the same level or maybe you were just looking at yourself nothing is moving nothing is pushing you're just there or maybe it's about the job you're just crying you're not applying not going after it you're just sitting there you're not pursuing if it's about your career maybe you're not pursuing your career you're just wishing if it's about your, your but, but your basis is not pursuing, you're just there. There's no way you can catch. There's no way you can find. There's no way you can be restored. Why? Because they're not taking an action about it. it says, shall I pursue? It says, yes. You will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue. And I like the, uh, the King James says in the version, it says, you shall recover all. It says, you shall recover all. So what David did was to inquire of the lord and he says shall i pursue he asked for the permission that he should pursue so when you are pursuing something when you are pursuing anything that has to do with your life anything that has to do with you do you inquire of the lord do you get the permission from the lord does the lord tell you go ahead and pursue it because that's why sometimes you pursue and you don't get results you pursue anything that you know you say this is mine and there are no results on it but when you inquire of the Lord, Lord shall I pursue, he gives you the permission to pursue. And then he tells you, you will get whatever that you're pursuing, you will overtake and you will recover all. So you may be asking yourself, shall I pursue? Yes, you should pursue. You should pursue your resources, you should pursue what belongs to you, you should pursue for it. Why? Because that is what the Spirit of God is telling, is telling us now. This month of October is going to be an amazing month because we're not going to be sitting down and watching things go down. We're not going to be sitting down crying until we get tired and we don't have any solution anymore. No, you will go out and pursue that which belongs to you. You will pursue because the grace to tack, the grace to overtack, the grace to be recovered, the grace is, is available already. He says, pursue them. And as you pursue you will succeed over them you will win you will get it why because that is what the lord has said so you're gonna pursue after your career you're gonna pursue after your your your, your finances you're gonna pursue after what belongs to you you're gonna pursue after anything that is yours your material blessing or whatever it is you're gonna pursue it and as you pursue you will recover you will overtake you will get it all that is yours that is what david did he didn't start complaining and stay there and he yes he cried of course the bible said that he cried until he was tired but he found strength in the lord so you no matter how much you may cry you still need to find strength in the lord come out rise up get up chest up chin up and then you pursue you have to pursue because that's what david did was it not painful for him yes it was painful was it not hating it was hating was it not, didn't they take all that belonged to him? What was his best to, to him? Yes, they took what was his best to him. But it says that he pursued them. He overtook them. He defeated them. He succeeded over them. And he recovered all. Nothing. Will, let's read it. 
this really so you can see what happened and then he says uh he says pursue them the lord said he answered you will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue so that means you will overtake them and succeed in the rescue david and the 600 men with him came to the prison valley where some stayed behind 200 of them were too exhausted to cross the valley but david and the other 400 continued to pay the, the pursuit so that means there must be a, continu a continuation of the pursuit you don't stop along the way you don't say i'm tired like this other man that stopped but the other 400 men with david they continued they pursued because you know what you want you know what is it that god has told you to pursue you already listen when something is taken away from you whether it's about your 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 your, your career or maybe you are facing a challenge whereby you feel like your joy is taken away from you or things are taken away from you you have a responsibility you have a role to take that is to pursue to go after it to do something about it so that is what david did the david and the 600 men with him came to the best of value where some stayed behind 200 of them were too exhausted to cross the valley. So don't be among the 200 that will be exhausted to cross the valley. You you ought to continue with the pursuit. You continue with the pursuit. You have a purpose. You're going to pursue. God has called you for an assignment. You're going to pursue. God has called you for, 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 for your ministry. You're going to pursue. You're going to make sure that you do it. Because if you get tired like the other men that got tired you're not gonna get to where your resources are you're not gonna get to where your materials are you're not gonna get to where your things are the resources are yours the the the, the positions are yours everything is yours it was taken away from you so your responsibility is to pursue so you're not gonna sit down you're not gonna give up you're not gonna stay there and be looking at things getting messed up each and every day you're not gonna watch yourself go down every single day you're gonna pursue what belongs to you you will pursue what is yours and make sure that you get it you recover and you tell you to succeed in all and this says they found uh this says 200 of them were too exhausted to cross the valley but david and the other 400 continued to pursue the pursuit they found an egyptian in a field and brought him to david so even on your way to pursuing you will find help you'll find people that will help you those that will say you know what we will help you. Listen to this. They gave him water to drink and food to eat, a part of a cake of pressed figs and two cakes of raisins. He ate and was revived. So this person they was found somewhere seeking for help. Then when they showed up, they gave him something to eat so that he can be revived. They gave him water to drink and food to eat, part of a cake, and he ate and was revived. So he had not eaten any food or drunk any water for three days and three nights. David asked him, who do you belong to? Where do you come from? He said, I'm an Egyptian, the slave of an Amalekite. My master abandoned me when I became ill three days ago. We raided the Negev of the Keratite, some territory belonging to Judah and the Negev of Caleb, and we burned Ziklag. So now he's telling them what they did, right? David asked him, can you lead me down to this raging party? You will get someone that will say, I'm going to lead you to that raging party. You will get the help from a person who will say, I know where your belongings are. I know where your money is. I know where your resources are. I know where you, your, your solution is. I know where you can get your, your, your job. I know who's the right person to help you. I know you will get that person. Who will help you? And say, so he answered, David asked him, can you lead the, me down to the raging party? He answered, swear to me before God that you, before God that you will not kill me or hand me over to my master and I will take you down to them. He led David down and there they were scattered over the countryside, eating, drinking and reveling because, um, reveling because of the great amount of plunder they had taken from the land of the Philistines and from Judah. So they found those people, you know, obviously enjoying, relaxing, uh, you know, feasting on what is not theirs. David fought them from dusk, from dusk until the evening of the next day. And none of them got away except 400 young men who rode off on camels and fled. So when David arrived there, he caught all of them. 
all of them except the 400 men that ran away they got into the camels and they left that's how they they, they survived right david recovered kayala bashata says david recovered everything the amalekites had taken david recovered everything that the amalekites had taken and as you pursue them you, you find help on your way and the right people will take you to where your belongings are where your positions are and as you get there you will find everything that is yours nothing will be missing nothing will be missing as david recovered everything the amalekites has taken had taken including his two wives so he got everything he recovered everything that was taken away from you what was taken away from you what is taken away from you is it joy is it marriage is it finances is it money is it whatever it is that has been taken away from you he says david recovered everything the Camelot had, uh, the Amalekites had taken, including his two wives, including his two wives. So everything that is taken away from you will be recovered. You will get it. Nothing was missing, young or old, boy or girl, blender or anything else they had taken. David brought everything back, Maka by Yekelabaya says everything brought everything back the only way for you to get everything back is to pursue them if you don't pursue you will not get it you have to pursue so that you can get help then you will find everything that is yours that was taken away from you if you don't pursue you will not get it if you give up you will not get it if you sit there and look at yourself cry until you're tired and still not get strength you will not get it if you want to recover all, you want to take it all, you want to defeat all, you're going to pursue. You're going to pursue. Because that's what David did. You have to pursue. You can't look at things get messed up. Look at your clients going and you're just there. You will pursue them. You will market your products. You will speak to your people. You will get the right people to help. You can, as you pursue. The Lord will favor you. The grace is available. You will find help and you will recover. Then David came to the 200 men. Let's look at it again. David recovered everything the Americans had taken, including his two wives. David brought everything back. He took all the flocks and the heads, and his men drove them ahead of other livestock, saying, this is David's splendor. So they came and said, this is all his. He, took, he got everything that was his. Anything that belongs to you that is taken away from you they will bring it they'll bring it back to you and they'll even be helping to say tech this one is yours is it about your your job your promotion where you're supposed to be promoted and people have been you know are, are pressing you down pulling you away you will receive your promotion you will recover it anything that you 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 lost even if it's about the finances you will recover all you will get it all. Then David came to the 200 men who had been exhausted to follow him and who were left behind at the Basel Valley. They came out to meet David and the men with him. As David and his men approached, he asked them how they were. But all the evil men and troublemakers among David's followers said, because they did not go out with us, we will not share with them this, the, the plunder we recovered. However, each man may you take his wife and children and go so now them those ones remember there were those ones that remained behind the 200 men he says now because you guys you said you're not going you're not gonna get everything that we got you but you can get your family and stay there and go your way david replied no my brothers you must not do that with that the lord has given us he has promoted and delivered into our hands the raiding party that came against us so that you also remember that God is the one that delivers those people into your hands. When you have received your possessions, what belongs to you, you must remember the Lord your God. Because he's the one that helped you to recover all. Who will listen to what you say? Uh, since where are we now? 24. Who will listen to what you say? The share of the men who stayed with the supplies uh, is to the same as that of him who went down to the battle. 
all will share alike. David made this a statute and ordinance for Israel from that day to this. When David reached Ziklag, he sent some of the uh, plunder to the elders of Judah, who were his friends, saying, here is a gift for you from the plunder of the Lord's enemies. David said, sent it to those who were in Bethel, Ramoth, Negev, and uh, Jatia, to those in Aroah, uh, Sigmoth, Esthmoth, and Rakal, to those in the towns of uh, the Jeramarites and the Canaanites, to those in Homer, Ho, Ashan, Atak, and Hebron, and to those in all the other places where he had his men uh, ro had roamed. Okay, so that was all. He went there and he gave. Right. So the, 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 the message on us is that we will recover all. As you pursue, you recover all. So you have an assignment. Is that you're going to sit there, cry like David, get tired, and still give up? Or you're going to cry like David, receive strength, and pursue them? So you need to pursue. You're going to pursue. And the grace to get everything is available. You will not sit there and watch everything go anyhow. If it's about the souls, you're going to go out there and minister to people, talk to people. It's about your ministry. You're going to go out there, pursue. You're not, you know, you're not pursuing with uh, desperation. You are not going after people with desperation no you are going there because you are given a go ahead to pursue and everything that was taken away from you joy peace you know love money blessing everything that was taken away from you you will recover it all you will recover it all let's look at another scripture as we get ready to round up Okay, let's look at Proverbs chapter 21, verse 21. Okay. It says, whoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life, righteousness, and honor. So now let's talk about whoever pursues. So, you know, you, you see now that it's not just about the resources, it's not, I mean, the possessions. It's not just about your family. It's not just about money. It's not even the righteousness of God. Is we pursue it, you find life, and fell in love, and honor, right? And then let's look at uh, Joshua ten nineteen. God told Joshua as well. Joshua ten verse nineteen. Let's see. Look at Joshua 10, 19. But don't stop. Hiya. Pursue your enemies. Attack them from the rear and don't let them reach their cities. God was telling Joshua, because there will always be enemies. There will always be enemies in your life. There will always be attacks in your life. There will always be challenges left, right, and center. There will always be something. The Bible says that in the book of uh, uh, John 10, 10, it says, The thief cometh not for, but to steal, to kill, and destroy. But I'm come that he might have life and have it more abundantly. The raw, the, 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 the jaw, I mean, uh, the thief's work. His assignment, the enemy's assignment is to attack, is to frustrate, is to always keep you in that small place where you will be frustrated every time. But you're not going to stay there and be watching your enemy take advantage of what is yours. He says that, but don't stop as you pursue, even along the way. You're not going to be like those 200 men who said, ah, we are tired, we're exhausted, you guys can go, you will find us here. No, as you pursue them, don't stop, don't be tired, don't give up, don't say I can't make it anymore. You're gonna pursue. He says, but don't stop, pursue your enemies. And remember, when you're pursuing your enemies, you're not the one fighting them. You're not, you know, the Lord is your backup. 
God is there doing it for you. He's your strength. What all he wants is you to be available as well as a witness. And then he says, but don't stop, pursue your enemies, attack them from the rear and don't let them reach their cities. For the Lord your God has given them into your hand. I like that. It says the Lord your God has given them into your hand. As you pursue, the Lord has given it into your hand. Whatever that it is that has been taken away from you, as you pursue, you win because the Lord has already given it into your hand. Glory to God. So you're not going to stop. You're not going to give up. So let's look at another, the last scripture as we round up right now. Joel 2.25. That is our last scripture for today. We had a short script. We had few scriptures. And then it says, let me look at it in the King James, the New King James Version. I will repay. So I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. What locusts have, what locusts have eaten in your life? Says, I will repay you. You will get it, even in double. I will repay for you the years the locusts have eaten. You may say, you know what? It's been 10 years, 15 years. 20 years of my life, I've been struggling, I've been battling, I've been trying to achieve this, I've been trying to do that. Or maybe you, you try to do ABCDs in your life and nothing happens. It says that I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. The great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts and the locusts were swam. My great army that I sent among you it says I will restore all that which the conqueror made eaten. So everything that has been taken away from you the lord is going to restore it it's going to restore it and you know i was just praying and i'm like oh god and then the holy spirit was just reminding me of the things that he said you know what there was this and there was that there was that then he says this is your 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 mouth of restoration so much has been i mean they will be restored like never before and not just even the month of October, but throughout your life, there's going to be a restoration every single day. Everything that concerns you will be restored, will be restored. Because that's what the Lord is saying. But you're not going to sit there and relax and say, yeah, the Lord is going to restore. You must pursue. So you, you're going to wake up from the sleep. You're going to wake up from crying. You're going to wake up from complaining. You're going to wake up from that same level and begin to pursue. You will pursue your career. You will pursue your ministry. You will pursue everything that you know you need to, you, you, you must achieve in life. You're going to pursue it. And as you pursue, the Lord gives you strength. You receive the strength and everything that is yours, everything that was taken away from you that belongs to you even the ones that you you had not yet known about them you didn't even know that you have them it says i will restore you will recover all you will get it all you will receive all of them so as you pray this month you pray and thank god for restoration because everything that is taken away from you will be restored in a double portion you will be restored in a double portion if you if 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 it was thousand rand that was taken, you will receive it in double. If it was anything that was taken away from you, we will come back in double. God has given you the grace and the ability to get even more and better and and what's a bit greater and greater. Critical. So you're gonna pursue them. You know what it is that you need to pursue. There's no procrastination. No complaining, no blaming. You're not gonna blame anybody. You're not gonna say, "Oh God, no." You know, David would have done that. Would have decided, "You know what? Let me just sit here and start crying." So where were you when these people were crying? Were coming here when they were taking our wives? When they were taking our children? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you? No, there's no time for that. There's no time to ask questions. There's no time to say to blame. There's no time to say, "Why didn't you do this? Why not that? Why not that?" No. You're going to pursue them. And as 
as you pursue, you will get them. As you get them, you will recover all and you will succeed in every area of your life. Glory to God. So you may also be watching me. Maybe you're not born again at this time, you know, and you are listening. You're like, oh God, I have lost so much in my life. I lost everything that has to do with me. I lost everything, almost everything in my life and I'm tired. Maybe I should just take my life off. No, this is not the time for that. The, the Lord is going to restore all that which the Kanko have eaten from you. The Lord is giving you the ability to recover everything that is taken away from you. Everything that was taken away from you. Everything that you lost shall be recovered. Your finances shall be recovered. Your job shall be recovered. Your promotion shall be recovered. Everything that is yours shall be recovered. Favor that belongs to you shall be recovered. So if you're watching me right now and you're not born again, you haven't given your life to Christ, I'd like to lead you with the prayer of salvation right now. Romans 10 9 says that if you confess with the mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, it says you will be saved. So I'd like you to say this prayer and mean it with all your heart. Say, oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right now, I ask Jesus to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life from this day. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of the living God. You died for me and you rose again from the dead for my justification. I receive eternal life now. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for saving me. I'm born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. If you've said this prayer right now, you are born again. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. You can email, text, DM, communicate with us, um, you know, however you want to communicate with us so that we can help you on your journey of faith now that you are born again. Glory to God. So at this point, brothers, we're going to pray right now and thank God for this month of October. That is going to be a great month of restoration, a great month where we recover all a great month where we succeed in all areas a great month where we take over a great month where we get our blessings in double portions where we succeed and we we lose nothing in everything that belongs to us if it's about your finances you will not lose it if it's about your job you will not lose it if you lost it you are getting a better one you know Everything that is yours shall be recovered and you will get it all. You're not going to keep quiet. You're not going to watch. You will pursue them. You will pursue and you will not stop. You will keep attacking. You will keep pursuing and make sure that you get everything that belongs to you. So don't sit back and relax and, re and cry and be wishing one day things will get better. Pursue them. Pursue your careers. Pursue your, your dreams. Pursue whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life. Don't sit back. Pursue them. Glory to God. So let us pray. Father, we thank you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ for the word that you have received. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit, that the grace is available for us to pursue because you have granted us the ability and the grace and the, 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 the right to pursue lord we thank you as we go out to pursue we recover everything that was taken away from us and we succeed in every area of our lives everything that is ours we receive it back in the name of jesus and in double portions lord we thank you that nothing will be lost that belongs to us we recover it all in jesus mighty name father we thank you for this great month of october that is going to be a great month where everything that, that is ours is restored. And Lord, we thank you that as we go out to pursue, we find help in every area of our lives. We find the right people to lead us to our positions. We find the right people to lead us to our greatness. We find the right people to lead us to our success in the name of Jesus. Lord, we decree and declare that there shall be nothing that will be lost in our lives in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that even as we 
start this new week. Thank you for greatness. Thank you for testimonies, for miracles in the name of Jesus. Yes, we find help in every area. We find help in our jobs, in our businesses, in our ministries, in our careers, in our finances, in every way. Everything that we lost, everything that was taken away, that the conqueror had eaten, Lord, is restored in the mighty name of Jesus. And yes, we find the right people to work with to get our positions. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Father, we thank you for this new month of October. A great month of blessings, a great month of success, a great month of restoration, a great month to recover all. Lord, we thank you. Yes, we shall pursue them. And as we pursue, we win. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that is all for today, Royals, for uh, what the Spirit of God has ministered to us. So you're going to go out there and pursue them. You will not sit there, relax and cry, and just become hopeless. You're going to pursue them. And as you pursue, you will overtake, you will succeed, and you shall recover all. Everything that the devil had taken away from you, you will recover it all. Nothing will be missing. You will get it all. You will recover all. Because the Lord has said so. So pursue them. Don't give up. And as you pursue, don't stop. Glory to God. So that is all for today, Royals. I love you all so dearly. Enjoy a blessed new week and happy new month of October. You know, it is, it's going to be an amazing month. Just get ready to see God restore every area of your life. Glory to God. And like I always say, every time, stay blessed, stay connected, stay in the word of God. Don't move an inch away from the presence of God. And God loves you. And I love you too. I'll see you next Sunday. Remember, pursue them. Don't stop till you win. Glory to God. God bless you. I'll see you again next Sunday for more insightful knowledge of the word of God. Happy new month of October our month of greatness, our month of success, and our month of restoration. Yes, we shall recover. Pursue them. Glory to God.